Three, two, one, fire. Earlier this year, Tokamak Energy achieved 15 million degrees on their spherical Tokamak ST40. But how did the team know that they had achieved this milestone? We talked to ST40's physicists to find out about the process of confirming 15 million degrees. If you look at the plasma, you'll see just a flash. We need some special technology developed to measure these plasma parameters. This diagnosis is very specific for nuclear fusion. A diagnostic is a set of equipment that measures something about the plasma. ST40 is equipped with various diagnostics to confirm the conditions inside the plasma. My name is Jonathan Wood, I'm a computational physicist. And my role was to look at the spectroscopy results, so uh, specifically iron Doppler. We're measuring the light emitted from impurities. The plasma will take in lots of um, impurities and then you can measure the broadening of that carbon line to get iron temperature. Spectroscopy will measure iron temperature or impurity temperature, which is kind of for fusion is more important because the nuclear collides, not electrons. The techniques are complicated, but they all involve looking at light, either the particular wavelengths of light that are given off by the plasma, or light that we shine through the plasma and then collect again to see how it's changed. This tells us about the energy of the particles emitting or affecting the light. You're receiving photons of different wavelengths. The more hot it is, the more you get a wider distribution, so you get uh, wavelengths emitted at uh, larger variations, and that represents our temperature. So this is raw data, that, and you, the red line is Gaussian fit, so you get the temperature measurement from the half width at half maximum of that Gaussian fit. 15 million degrees is not something you can measure with thermometer. Well, any conventional method is completely useless, so everything must be developed specifically. Confirming the temperature in ST40 was a joint team effort and involved using several different techniques. The same parameter is measured by several different techniques simply because there are some weak points, some strong points. Say, X-ray spectroscopy is very strong diagnostics, but to measure the whole spectrum we need good statistics to count a lot of uh, photons, so it's slow. It all just gives you a big picture as to what the temperature is. Oh, so okay, so it's, it's 20 milliseconds then. To measure the 15 million degrees, we had to uh, hold the plasma stable for several milliseconds to allow enough light into the spectrometer to get uh, good statistics. I was working on providing the plasma for a long enough time. My role was to just actively monitor the iron temperature. So I'd um, run my scripts after every single pulse and then um, I'd feed back to the chief physicist with the temperature and then he could decide whether to repeat the shot or move on to the next one. So to run our tokamak, we have a series of recipes. What we normally do is we, we have a shot which is successful and then we'll tweak it slightly. Then hopefully we'll get the shot uh, to last a bit longer. It was my measurements that uh, achieved 50 million degrees. It felt good. <laughs> there was no eureka moment. There's no moment where we all uh, pop champagne. <laughs> it took two weeks of analysis, so uh, it was more kind of relief that we managed to, to get it and quite a lot of data there as well. We achieved it multiple times, so uh, there are many shots where we had 50, over 50 million degrees. This just happened to be a collection of shots which were very consistent um, with good data, um, but there are many other times where we achieved over 15 million degrees at two different spectrometer configurations, one where it's pointing vertically and when it's pointing horizontally and also vertically at an angle. As we work towards our 100 million degree milestone, we'll need additional diagnostics which are currently being designed and implemented. The ST40 team are hard at work on the upgrade and we should see the fruits of this in 2019.